Looks like a good break. Nice. And he lets off a good break, and uh, you know, Vilma's got a focus. decent shot. Decent shot on the one. Natural position yeah. on for the two. Yeah, good shot. Just floated down. Yeah. I mean, almost, bro. Mika, man, you just was BC in that match. Model. Especial. You were BC in that match, bro. Gracias. Uh, in the chat room, they said you might be the best shot maker ever. And really? They said who, who said that? The chat room did. They said you might be the best shot maker ever. Yeah, as least, uh, you know, <laughs> as long as I don't get careless and, you know, yeah. silly. <laughs> <laughs> You're just brutal. You're just brutal, Look man. at that shot. He played great, great you position. You know what? Larry Bond. Larry I, I like is no right? slouch. Right? No, he used to play on the Camel Tour, right? He's been around the game for a long time. Yeah. I played him uh, back in, like, 96 when I first came to the States. Wow, I played him. Real? I played him at the Hollywood Park Casino. Nice. Yeah. I accept it. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah, it's wow. cool. I mean, he's, you know, he obviously knows the game. Yes, he obviously knows the game. He knows the game solid because he gets around the table good. He accepts the angles. Yeah, he's going to play a stun shot here. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, he yeah. played the right shot, <laughs> he but did. he played it a little bit full and yeah. missed it. Uh, I don't and, know if this ball uh, goes, Mika. Maybe this, I don't think Bill's going to shoot the this combo, ball. The combo is pretty much on, but I don't know if he if he's gonna shoot for this a ball? safe. Right. This table is very tight. Yeah. See, he went for it, but it, I don't know if it was the right shot. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he even really aimed. I mean, he's yeah. kind of just guesstimating it. Right, right, because he's usually... Okay. He's usually a little bit more yes, careful than that. Absolutely, and that's why I'm Maybe I'm he took it him. for granted. Right, for a little bit. Look at this. Wow. He nailed it. And Larry Bond Down drills that ball. Wow. We were admiring how well you killed the cue ball. You it's, go them two rails with the little inside and just kill the ball when it's coming back in the line. Just beautiful. Yeah, it's one of the... Especially on a table like this because it, the, it's a new cloth. Right. It plays very fast. Right. So you need, need to know how to do that shot. It becomes... Yeah. Uh, it you becomes did, very handy right. on the several shots. It could be like you might be using it like half of the shots. Absolutely. And you did it coming back to the side. You went two rails, killed it, killed the speed coming back down. When you had the ball inside, you shot it and went up, down, and to the top. When it got to the top rail, it just died and floated right down and, in the position. Beautiful yeah, shot. Yeah, I yeah. remember that shot. Yeah, that I, I got a little bit funny on the four ball. That's and exactly then I right. Uh, That's exactly right. And you hit it well. Larry Bond looking to do some work here, man. Yeah. This guy's always a threat. You know, uh, like they call lamb killers. He didn't you know the little sevens yeah. mess with him. He, you know, he'll get you. He hit that ball with confidence. He hit it right. Yeah. Wow. Must be fun for him, you know. He's just coming here yeah. teasing these, you know, <laughs> big guns, you know. And he's got, like, exactly. he doesn't really have a lot of pressure. Right, right. He probably has the least pressure At this out of point, anybody. You know? Playing Vilmos, you know. You're watching the Mez West State Tour stop number seven. Vilmos is, a, is a, like a world, world-class world player. He's, he's, he's a beast. And he's, he's been beast. playing very, very well on the West. Yes. The Mez Q's West yeah. State Tour. So, yeah. uh He's one of the most consistent players yes, here. Yes, he is. But he's coming off a tough loss to Melissa, so maybe that's playing a little bit right. in the back of his head, you know, like. Yeah, okay, I got something for what you. What do you uh, think? How important is your road? Like, I don't know if you have a road partner or somebody who you travel with if you're if you're playing somewhere, but Vilmos is missing Attila. We, we see that because when Vilmos got tight, Attila would joke and laugh with him, and he knows what he drinks and stuff. I think he's missing yeah. him a little bit. Well... Attila's busy playing a match too, so I mean he's here, right? No, not Attila Chorba. Attila oh, Besden. Yeah, the other guy. Yeah. Okay, the all right. Original Attila. Attila Besden. He won the Mez um, okay, Top Gun. So, um, that was his road partner from right. Hungary. I'm, I'm less familiar with that. Yeah. Attila. But so he, yeah, he traveled with him a lot. That was his boy. So maybe, yeah, maybe that's right? a little bit of a thing, you know. I'm here. I'm hanging with uh, you know you got Omar and Rodney. Yeah, you know and, what I like. Uh, you guys have a good time. Yeah, we have a good time. We're Absolutely. Just, we, you guys kick it. It's we good. Just kick it. You know, yeah. just have a laugh. We're joking around the whole right. time. I and mean, <laughs> you're not joking on the pool table, though, buddy. No, we don't. We don't joke. <laughs> on the, once we get on the pool table, it's like serious it's business. business. Absolutely, I see it. I see your whole and demeanor change and stuff. You, as they say really in the south, like business is business. <laughs> <laughs> 
business is business, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, Larry Bond is taking care of business over here. Yeah. Up three nothing over Vilmos. Uh, Looking to do some weird, work. Uh, it's a little weird uh, layout here. I think he's yeah. gonna. Maybe he can go into that little gap. He's gonna play safe here. Right. Float the cue ball near the side pocket. Maybe play a little bit right hand spin and get between the balls there. See that? Oh, see. You call that right, man. Wow. Uh, he really wanted to go between the yeah. three, eight, and five, where oh. the guy would have been completely stuck. Yeah. But this is still a good shot. Yeah. Uh, three is, is no matter what happens here. Three is gonna stay stuck. Right. And so uh, you gotta play. You know, you gotta play this two in and play position for another safety. Right. Right. Yeah, and you know what? It's good is that uh, you know when you played your safety, uh, they were they were brutal, brutal. Uh, you played one where you tried to get like under the under under the eight on the end rail, and you went like three rails and came off the side rail to come get on, and you shadowed on him, and you still got him, but he, you you like shook your fist at the ball because you wanted him dead under that ball. I know. Yeah, you I, wanted him dead just, under that ball, but it was it was wonderful. You know, it's the pursuit of perfection. You yeah, know, no doubt, no doubt. There's no yeah. such thing as perfection ever, but like uh, I think Vince Lombardi said that you know once. As long as you pursue it, okay. you know you can you can gain excellence. Yeah, that you're makes never sense. gonna get perfection. That makes sense. I mean, oh, I'd... where's the cue ball? And he, well, he, he got away with that one. He got away with that. I don't know if he's gonna shoot this combination, but uh, he's not you know, going for the combo. He's gonna just dolly it, try to get safe behind the two wow. balls. That's a pretty good one. Wow, wow. Now Willems has to like really. Be careful here. Yeah, because he's There's in danger a lot of three foul, right? There's not a lot of room for error. You know, he's already fouled once. Yeah. And then it's gonna if he doesn't hit these balls, he's there's gonna be easy save to just Absolutely. like completely lock him up. Absolutely. So he's gonna try to wanna get there somehow. Yeah. This is, what is he using four rails? Oh he's coming straight back. You know what? Um in I'm hindsight right. that's not a bad shot. Right. He broke up that he cluster. Broke him up. Four is stuck, so now yeah. Mr. Bond is have to get a, gonna have to get a really good position to either play another safe. He's on. Filmos is on two. Yeah. And, uh, on the other hand, he, maybe he could play the three and then just uh, open up that cluster. He can right. just follow Roll right into up, that right? cluster. Mm -hmm. But is he gonna have position on the four? He's, right. That's that's another question. We noticed that. We noticed when you went into balls. We were calling. And he said, you know, I noticed Mika doesn't bump balls unless he knows exactly where they're gonna end up. Yeah. And that's a, I don't, a I don't tough like, skill. I don't like going into balls unless, and, you know. You know what, with your firepower. Does the four go? Yeah, that four goes. What a great what a great little uh, opening here. Yeah. I mean, chance. he's looking at a 4-0 out of the gate. Yeah. And Is the cue ball floating too far? Yeah, he got a little loose on it, but he, he can... Kill it, right? Yeah. Or he goes goes down into there, the pocket. There was no reason to go that far. He I mean, hit it too I, hard, I like, right? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to rather stay short. But he's okay. Oh man, this he's, guy is just firing. He's I, he's, he's loosey goosey on Vilmos right now. He's, he's he's bearing down. I mean, he's playing the right shots. Yeah, he's hitting these balls oh, good too. Oh, oh, well now he got a little lucky. He, got a little he dog, yeah. he dogged the eight. Cue ball followed and made it. <laughs> and it, it stayed up and it got him. Man. All right, what? He's got to cut this in the side. He got a little tester. It's a lot of green. Yeah. Wow. It, it, wow. it wiped its feet before going in. <laughs> this guy, he's not acting it's like he's a good underdog shot. here. This guy is, is, is shooting balls. He's firing yeah. in all cylinders. Absolutely. We'd like to thank our sponsor, West State Billiard Supply. The best products at the best prices. And I'm in a booth, man, with the legendary, the Iceman. It's crazy. Mika Eminent. I get to learn know, all these Rob. good shots. You're, you're a legend. Man. You're a legend yourself. No, man. No, no. I'm just I trying to, to do a good I used job. to watch you. Ah! On, on Oz. <laughs> That's right. That's right. If y'all get out of the line, you got to remember, I was the third Muslim. I was Hammerhead <laughs> Jones. <laughs> yeah. Beating people up. It's all good. I love that show. Yeah, it was a great show. I made so many great friends from there. Chris Maloney is a good friend of mine. You know, uh, man, Granville like Adams. The guy, the tall guy, the main man with the, you know. Oh, with the hat on the side? Yeah. Adam Wally? Oh yeah. yeah, he blew up. He blew up Congo, uh, The Mummy 2, tons of movies. Oh you my know? man. Eamon Walker, it's on Chicago PD. Yeah. Chicago Fire. Oh, right solid. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. John Seda. You know, good for him. Oz is, is strong, you know. It's a great foundation for a lot of guys. Absolutely. What's the, what's the guy who did the, the, the narration? 
the, no, the, what's the crazy guy who was with the, the white guys in the prison and he's crazy like bald head. He did recently this uh, movie where he's like teaching in this uh, music school and, and oh yeah oh what's JK, his name jk J- simmons he's crazy oh he's he's insane you talking so, about whiplash so cool so cool Yo, he's a great guy jk is uh, but a what an show. actor amazing he, jay jonah james from spider-man did, did you watch the drum of course movie? whiplash so crazy so he good was sick. are he you was making sick. noise in my studio let's do it again tempo <laughs> <laughs> oh man he was sick yeah what? and jk's wow. a very humble nice guy Oh, and I had scenes with him and talked to him. He was so cool. He was so cool. Yeah. Because uh, the Muslims had to face the Nazis one time. And, uh, you know, I just rolled up on him. And he was so cool. He was like, yo, let me have it. You know what I mean? That's it's like, cool. let me have it. You know? I know. And he let me have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. I, I love that experience, man. I had such a good time. Well, look at this. I mean, uh, Larry is like, so far, he's taking uh, Vilmos to school here. Yes, he is. He's like he laid down a couple of really beautiful safeties. That's right. He's breaking some clusters. He's like yeah. uh, taking, you know, he's taking some main. He's like he's I don't like, know. Come on, he's in a good us. flow. Yeah. And uh, it is a it's, a it's a state of mind right. sometimes, you know. Right. You know. And Vil- like I said, Vilma's coming off a tough loss, yeah. and and you know, it's, yeah. he's gonna have to dig deep. I agree with you. To come back in this match. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what champions do when they have a chance. They, you, that's what separates you from everybody else. Yep. The ability to forget that shot you missed and will, just get up there and do your job. I will never count Vilmos out, but you know no he's going to have to, uh, with an alternating break format. That's tough. You know, it, it takes mistakes like this. Like Did this. he land short? Yeah, he's short. I think he's he might, short. Yeah, he's looking to duck here. I don't know. Maybe he has a three rail kick stick or he's going behind this nine ball. He's Can kicking he just, at this ball. Yeah. It's, wow. wow. He lands to the good. Vilmos, uh, so what do you do, Mickey? He jumps this ball? It's this in the he jaws, might, right? Might mass it. Right. Might, uh, I'd probably mass it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so why do you jump some balls with your uh, breaking cue and some balls with a jump cue? I watched you do that. Sometimes if you have a long jump, you know, it's it's better to jump with a long cue because it, you know, stays in line ah, and you have a little bit more power. That makes sense. See this Massey? And he almost hits a great Massey okay. right there. Great Good Massey, call. but now he wanted to hit a little bit thinner to create an angle. Right. But now he's like stuck on a, on a straight shot on this table. Yeah. Not a very comfortable position to be Cause in. Because it's tight, right? It's tight. Uh, he can't cheat the pocket. He might have to just like roll this in. I don't know. I don't like stroking the ball from, like, you know, hammering yeah. this in. Maybe he'll settle, settle for a, a bank on the nine. Oh, right. And, and uh, try Either to protect that the or ball, right? it, it, he's going to have to, like, cheat the pocket and then play a force follow off the rail. Wow. Uh, that's like playing with fire. Yeah. He's going to have to hit this ball good if he's going to get shaped. Hit it great. Wow. Look at that shot, Mika. It didn't land so great, but no. he hit it great. Yes, he did. This is like... He spun uh, that ball great. It's kind of 50-50 which pocket... Which pocket to shoot it in? Is he, he's cutting he's it. Cu- he's cutting it. It's a big pocket, but he's going to go in slow speed. Yeah. And that's a good shot. Yes, See? That was, that's a good shot. That's a good comeback shot. Now, uh, four to one. Because of the... The object ball goes in with that speed, you know, you have a bigger pocket, so that's why he opted for that. Wow. Even though it was a tougher cut. Okay. See, but it was a bigger pocket. That people would probably be dying to know about pool when you sit there and you know all this knowledge, you know, and it's good because it's, it's like, you know, universally people say, uh, you know, even when, you know, like when I was a man at uh, Castle in, in Jersey, they talked about you all the time and it's like, man, Mika, just he's just a machine. A machine, machine, machine. I remember when you was getting ready to play Shane. It was like, if Shane come up there and play Mika on his table, Mika's going to put it on him. But I think you had to travel somewhere and then came back. Or something like that. Where he said you just weren't, you know, at top of where you usually are. Yeah. I haven't been, uh, I haven't been my best the last year or so. So, I'm trying to get back into it. That's good, Trying man. to get hungry. Yeah. It's good to see you playing, though, bro. It's good to see yeah. you out there. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, oh, it's so cool. I, I, I like, you know... I gotta like always see where I'm at, you know. If That's I don't, right. you know, if I don't play, I'm not gonna see where I'm That's at. Right. So I have to like, even if I lose, at least I'm, you know, getting, 
I'll get more, I'll get a little bit angry. Yeah. And get <laughs> yeah. motivated, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, because, you know, uh, no winner I know likes losing. That's a fact. Yeah. None of them. So. So, I just gotta get back in shape. Yeah. Back in, you know, back in, have the desire to win, have the hunger, and right. uh, the, you know, the uh, the eye of the tiger. Absolutely, and I know that's real. Wow, Vilma said a good shot there, buddy. I mean, but he's got well, he's got the two rails. He can come at it. I'm not sure if he can go even one rail. Can he? Can he? Is he glued to the back of six? Maybe he can juice it, but that, there's not a lot to gain. This is a tough save because you're kicking into like open areas. Hmm. He might have to go two rails, and then the best way to hit this two rail is like. To, to come across the, 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 the top of the ball. But it, it's so tough. Wow. He, he gave it he a almost, good try right there. He almost clipped it. Yeah. He gave it a good try. But he had to hit it with a lot of pace to kind of get separation of the balls. Yeah. And then, uh, I, I, I talked to Oscar about that. And he said you when he kicks them balls, you got to hit them with some pace. Because if you leave them, they're going to stay in the same quadrant. And then, you know, the guy's going to have a chance to get out. Yeah. It depends on the layout. This, this particular one was like, you know, you're kicking into like wide open area, so. So for. Um, Almost is looking at, you know. You should get out here, right? Yeah, narrowing the deficit. Good. You should get out. This is this standard. Is that the other side? It's, it's just good when, you know, you see things like this happen, you know? But um, for the beginner listeners out there, when you talk about kicking into space as opposed to kicking by a ball on the rail, it's harder to kick the one in space? Well, it's harder to kick the ball that's uh, you know, in the middle of a table, especially if you have to go two rails. I find that two rail kicks are like the hardest ones, really. Okay. Even three rails is easier because the rails kind of equal, equalize each other out. Okay. Um, and then the last one particular here, this kick shot, was like you're kicking into an open area. Even if you hit the ball, you have to hit it with pace to get separation. Right. For the between the object ball and cue ball, but um, right, that makes sense. So there's a lot of strategy behind the uh, kicking. That means see, you learn something new all the time. And it's uh, it's really an art form, and you know that's why I think uh, you know Efren and you know there's some other guys that really like brought that aspect okay. of the game to another right. level right so when they were coming up in uh, was that that's still your time right were you playing here yet or i i started coming here in 96 so i was like a little bit a little bit later but in all in all fairness i don't think efren hit his prime until it was like 2000 right or so so he like he caught a gear a little bit later yeah, he did. in his career yeah although he's always been great but right. you know he he was he didn't like win the tournaments that he won later. Right. He always he always managed to like step it up when there was a lot of money on the line somehow. Yeah, right. IPT. <laughs> IPT, the one in Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he beat me in the Challenger Champion Finals. Challenger Champion. Yeah. Barely. It was. It was. It went. It went down to the last last game. Yeah. And I had a chance to run out, but I I I caught this like weird. Funky roll where I, I I was going into a, I made a ball on the side and I go into another ball and I was trying to you know play position down table and this right. ball traveled together with the cue ball and I stayed behind the ball the whole time. Oh wow, it was That's really cool. weird. Then I kicked and I almost made the ball and, but didn't and then after went out. Yeah, that's got to be tough. Um, that, was, that was so tough, man. I know it's got to be tough. 50, He's just right there, fifty, 50 take, large, fifty large right there, right? That's strong. I had nightmares for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I couldn't sleep for two weeks. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. I know. Larry Bond is... Larry got a... He's, he's playing like, you know what, I'm not an underdog. That was like here. really, uh, it was a dodgy shot because, you know, your cue ball is going towards the corner, but he caught it so so thin, I guess, that right. and it worked out for him. Right. Okay, Miga, I got one for you. Best banker. Best banker? Mm-hmm. You 
know there's these guys from like Kentucky that play yeah. uh, bank ball. <laughs> yeah, bank John balls. Brumbach, yeah, Brumbach. Yeah, Brumbach. Yeah, those guys are crazy. But, you know, I gotta say that, I mean, as like regular rotation professionals, yeah. such, uh, we, we can bank a few balls Absolutely. here and there. It's not our bread and butter, but, you know, like, I think Bustamante is an amazing banker, yeah, too. he's strong. Look at that. This guy's just he, kicking he tried, balls, he, man. He tried, he tried for that combo. He sure did. Look at it. He, he left the perfect layout for uh, Vilmos. Now, now it's a good shot. Vilmos should be out here again. It's just a natural. Yeah. And I, this is what I'm, we call a road map. That's a road map? Yeah, it's like tic tac. Um, all the balls connect to each other? Yeah, connecting the dots. Mm. And you Roll the three ball in and draw. The six ball is the only. You know, you, I mean, you got to get nice on the five to get to the okay. six, and then you're good. Right. So this is the key shot here, the position for the five. Okay. It's going to have to do a nice draw. Get close to the ball. As long as you're close, so you can maneuver. You can maneuver when you're close. Yeah, right? that's perfect. So now, he's, now he can probably just stun the ball in. Get out of the rail. Foot. Foot and a half, maybe. That's a good. That was a clean. Yeah, hit. he had to like really. Yeah, he hit that ball good. Spear it in. Yeah. And this yeah. table is no joke. I mean, if you hit that ball a little bad, yeah, it's gonna rattle. Yep. You have to bring he's, it. He's a straight shooter, so he's. Yeah. He's getting in his groove here. He sure is, cause he's 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 dancing around the table like, okay, I, I'm coming to play. You know. Yeah. Like Larry, you might have had the lead, but I'm <laughs> I'm home here. You know, this I is know. not over, buddy. Yeah. He's pumping him in. I'm not going to just uh, fold. <laughs> exactly. I'm, my name is Bill Mose. Never fold, fold this. Yeah. What's the matter with Never you? fold this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Andy Billiard Cloth. AndyCloth.com. This is Ryan. I'm in the booth with the legendary Iceman, Mika Eminem. Uh, enjoying some great pool and learning. You guys should be uh, taking notes here. That's how you get better. I love pool, man. I just want to tell you, bro. Uh, I do. We appreciate everybody who I loves really pool. Do. I and, love uh, pool, dude. Like, how's your game, follow. by the way? I you haven't know what? seen you play. You know what? I, you know, I travel with Bo. And you're probably I'm like soaking practicing. up a lot of stuff here. Yeah, and then, I am. You know, you're getting inspired. Exactly. And every time I go back to the practice table, I practice a lot. Yeah. I'm a drill guy. I do the drills, but then every time I get to play somebody who's better than me or something, I, I step up to play. That's good. But other than that, I stay on them drills, man, because I see the improvement. Look at this break. He's the cue ball was a little funny. Right. I bet he caught a decent roll. He's got a great shot on the two. Yeah. Looks like a natural position. Just float between the three and four. And then uh, play the three in the same corner yeah. as where the two is going to go right now. Well, make a natural position for you. And that's a position for an amateur is different. You said, yeah, I'll just play this. Well, the angle three just like four. allowed him to like come off like wow. that. But see, Mika, uh, you know, Vilmos is world class too. He, that guy can play. Yeah. He yeah. had to just put a touch of spin. He put a little right-hand English, just make sure not to run into the three when he come around. Okay. And now he's got three straight in, four straight in, pop, pop, pop. Like I, I see, like you know, four shots here, like yeah, just like elementary. And just then the the position on the seven is, is is really key. How to get to the eight? Nice. Yeah. Did he get? He got a little sloppy on that. He one, got right? a little short. He he's yep. not happy about it, but he's gonna he's gonna recover. He, he's right. gonna take a breath and then just roll this in and then have a straight shot in the six for the six for the side and then just play a little bit of draw. Hit that ball good. Yeah, I mean he's just gonna leave himself an angle on the seven right. to settle for a shot. Right. So when you coming up, were you a drill guy or you just you just like you just. I matches. I, I like playing. I just like to get in the heat. When you were young, how, how did but you do I, it? Of course, I played drills too. But I was like mostly like just wanted to play, 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 play opponents, try to play either for like even table time or money or yeah. anything. I could play like nine, ten hours a day. Wow, that's strong. I was playing a lot. I was that's so hungry. Strong. That's it, right? <laughs> I got you. Couldn't like uh, you had to like drag me out of the pool. <laughs> that's beautiful. He played this like really soft, yes, nice, he did. cheated pocket a little yeah. bit. So now he shoots it in the and corner, now, right? And he's got a really beautiful shot in the corner. He can play this with, like, medium speed. Just come off the rail a little bit, a little bit draw, a little bit left spin. Right. 
and then that he's, ball good. he's like gin. <laughs> you know, before I, I, I knew you, my friend, uh, Tall Phil, One Pocket Phil? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's talked about you so much. He said, man, listen. He said, Mika is a machine. <laughs> That's what he said. I love Phil. He's a, Phil's he's a, a great cool guy. guy. He's a cool guy. I play with him. Yeah. Uh, whenever I get a chance, yeah, we, uh, Phil we, Mission, we're good friends. You Phil know? Mission is a quality good guy. You guys call him One Pocket Phil or whatever, but he's a great guy. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Contact Point Media, responsible for the live streaming and live scoring app. Yeah, I, I love Phil. He's a good guy. He's, he's awesome. Yeah. We had he a lot of good times. He's very highly yes. He's a, he's, a, yeah. uh, he's a funny guy. He's yeah. oh, intelligent. Yeah. yeah. And he's a, he he's plays a great, good he's a, he's a decent player. Yes, he is. And get he's, 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 you know, he's yeah. got all his, uh, he knows the right moves. Absolutely. You know, in he life. Does. Yeah. Yes, he does. And in pool. Yes, he does. He's not afraid to get into grease. Phil gets it in, man. He just keeps it so light, too. Yeah. Like, eh. I know he just played Varner uh, this past weekend. He wasn't happy because he lost to Nick. But he said, man, I played like a dog. And he calls it. But he probably gained a lot of experience from that match, just like watching Nick. Yeah. All his moves and, you know, My man, it's a big, tough game. Yeah, it was Big Dennis in the chat room who said uh, that Mika was probably the best shot maker in the world. Dennis? Yeah, Big Dennis. Um, oh. Big Dennis uh, makes cues. Oh, DC Dennis, cues, Dennis. yeah. With legendary around here. He makes, uh, Jerry Match and shoots with his cue. Uh, you know, they're, they're sought after. He stopped making them. Guy makes oh. a good cue, yeah. I appreciate all the compliments. Absolutely, you know, man. Try to, try to stay humble. For sure. But you gotta, that's you, you, that's you the know. key. You gotta be. You gotta be that's a that's a balance, humble. brother. That's, that's a balance. the balance. That's the balance. That's the, that's the, Absolutely right. It's a thin thin line. Yeah. But you gotta. It's like a. I call it the suspension rope. You know, when you get a little too cocky, you're gonna fall. But right. at the same time, you have to have the ability and the confidence that you're gonna just keep walking that line absolutely brother i know how you i know how that feels. It, it relates to everything yes it you does know, yeah, i know yes, you're like you know yeah, you're exactly because you're good at what you do yeah and, you know you, yeah. But you have to but stay. You better be humble because you can get toe up you know like me like you know well, the second that you get a little cocky that you, you're gonna miss the next next shot right away right right no doubt i mean the same thing you know when the i did difference between like yeah nice confidence and, and arrogance absolutely yeah. when I started uh, my acting career and I was doing things and I got to do some things with some big name actors oh I was never like you know shook but I was had respect you know I'm like that yeah, man got yeah. there and that's what I do with pool players and enjoy the moment you got respect really of course respect and then yeah. just like fucking yeah respect you have to respect whoever it is respect the architect respect the craft you know respect the table like you know much as I wanted to be a good pool player and stuff like that, you have to respect guys who have talent like yours and, you know, these beasts, just beasts out there. Bill I love it. just missed the shot. It was very tough. He kind of got a little bit further away from the two that he wanted to. Right. And he was, uh, he had a long shot. And he wanted to be straighter on that two. So yeah. in case he misses, he'll be behind the seven behind and still have position on the, th on the okay. three. But he had too much angle. Right. And uh, he unfortunately missed the ball, but wow. I think Larry's like wheel, yeah, he, the wheels have fallen yeah, off. Yeah, he he stabbed at that ball. He's he's yeah he's kind of yeah. getting a little jumpy here, and then uh, yeah. maybe he started to feel the heat now because Vilmos just came out <laughs> back out of nowhere. He sure did. And, uh, and but this is like balls. this is uh, this is what you expect from Vilmos. So if you Absolutely. if you let him in, he yeah. will take it. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And it's, it's good to see. I, I love I love it. I love watching just great players play. It's always something new. Vilmos is a class act. Yeah. Oh, what a good guy. He's funny. When I he doesn't make a lot of noise. No. <laughs> he just, like, takes care of no, business. He's, he's exactly right. <laughs> he's like, oh. <laughs> he just gets up there and does his thing. Whatever. Yeah, it's like, oh. Okay, four rails, all right. <laughs> I'm going to make this ball, you know. It's good times. He's got that Eastern European stoic mentality. Yes. Yeah. He's going into battle, and he's just, okay, no need to talk about it or do anything. I'm just going to go and do what I have to do. Yeah. 
He's hitting the yeah. ball really clean too, though. Yeah, that's nice. It's perfect angle here too. You can just like he gets out of the rail. He plays this nice and soft, and it, it's just natural. That's a beautiful shot. Yeah. You just make it, you guys just make it look so easy, and I know it's not easy. Yeah, even that shot was not easy. No, like he, yeah. but he just played it. He ex executed it perfect. Yeah, he sure did. And just like that, Vilmos Foldis takes the lead. 5-4 over Larry Bond. We'd like to thank Pius Events and Promotion, Bane Mendoza, the maker of the Excellence Ball Cleaner. Some good stuff. I like being here now. It's just quiet. It's just the players and knowledgeable spectators sitting there watching. Cool. This is uh, about as good as it gets for me. I love it. Well, I haven't even looked at the... Oh the yeah, friend. they talk you in chat. Of course, <laughs> of course. Hey, Nathan <laughs> Demolin is nice. There. Yeah. Hey, buddy. There you go. Big Dennis is saying hi. Yeah, that's the guy. Thank Nathan, you for the compliments. Who did, who did your uh, instruction, right? Yeah, Nathan. Uh, Nathan is one of, part of the runout media. Yeah. Did the. Yeah, I like your instruction. He's the producer of the. Mastering and he did. Pool. Uh, Nathan. I'm still like, looking to do the mastering pool. Uh, part two. Well, yeah, kind of like the... Advanced? Advanced. <laughs> the, next, the next level. It was just crazy. You just at the end. And this is how you run out 10 ball back. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's, uh, it's funny when we did the first uh, series of DVDs. Right? I mean, I was, you know, I was a name, yeah. but I wasn't like a Hall of Famer. And then once we produced and then it was in the wraps, yeah. I started winning everything. So it was weird. It was the timing wow. was amazing. That's so sick. So that it was it was really odd. So That's that same so year that we produced it, I became the player of the year. And I was like, hey, uh, it's a little easier to sell the DVDs once <laughs> you're like exactly. the player of the year. So you're like, just beating everybody, bro. Yeah. That was so sick. You were beating everybody. That's Cole Gibbons, and that's Foch Foch Garcia, Iceman. Foch, <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Yeah. Nice to see you. Fox is a good guy. Yeah. He's a warrior. <laughs> totally. I guess I have a decent American accent. Yeah, yeah. I try. Yeah, you sound good, man. A little, I try to keep a little bit of an accent, though. Absolutely. You, you know, you do it in the you know, away from. <laughs> Nathan Mullen said it helps, helped a little bit. <laughs> Just <started winning. laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so strong. <laughs> I love it. And uh, uh, Nathan, I loved your product. It was very clean. The production values was was were great. Respect Nathan, to that. Nathan's good at anything he does. Like he's, I believe it. He just he doesn't produce any garbage. So, no. Uh, and that's good. That's good. Maybe a couple of bad jokes here and there, but you know. <laughs> but besides that, he gets it in, right? But we all do that. That's good. Nathan's part. He's, he's, he's part of the crew. He's, with, he's, he's down with the crew? Yeah, he's down. He's down with the crew. All right, there you go. And Vilma Swald is just like that. It's 6'4". I'd like to thank our sponsor, SoCal Tap League. SoCalTapLeague.com. Right hand in booth with the legendary Mika Eminem. Crazy. I'm just joking. Nathan doesn't really... He no. doesn't tell bad jokes. No. I'm just, I was just trying to, like... <laughs> You're trying to just rile him up. Just rile him up a little. Just rile him up. Rile him up. It's all good. Well, six to four. Larry Bond's breaking in. Uh, yeah, you know. so... Nathan, anyway, when are we doing the mastering pool? Uh, next, yeah, there next you go. Edition? That's right. Put a little heat on the guy. There you go. Hey, Nathan, the <laughs> chat room wants to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to call him out. That's right. When are you going to do a match and pool part two? Advance. Oh, oh, gets his, gets oh this is really not. I mean, everything, like, turned around for Larry. Right. I mean, look at it. It was, like, 4-1, right. and now it's 6-4. Exactly. Bill's got ball in hand. It's probably going to go up 7-4. Yeah. It just changed. It's looking like uh, the signs are a little ominous right. for uh for Larry, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tough. But this is exactly what happens. I mean, you know, when you, when you got somebody in in the ropes, you got to keep him in the ropes. That's right. You got to step on him. Uh, a, a character like Vilmos, he's, he's, you know, he sees a little bit of light. He's going to grab that chance and he's going to he's gonna roll with it. Yeah. And now he's like 
free flowing. <laughs> Your man Nathan Mullen in chat room said 2019 ish. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, the world's waiting for Master Damn, Pool like, too. They're just playing like they're doing this like Venom trick shot stuff. I mean, yeah. They're too busy ah. playing trick shots. You know? <laughs> they're too busy playing trick shots to do some real pool, huh? Yeah, some real pool. Man. <laughs> I bet you can do some good stroke shots, Mika. I could actually pull a few tricks, you know. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I yeah. think I should play, maybe I should play a couple of tricks with uh, Venom on the, the next DVD. See? There you go. That just, would be awesome. Just saying. You know what I mean? Put them in there. All right, Bloodhound. Thank you. I appreciate your uh, support for Mastering Pool. By the way, anybody out there, like, you know, still, uh, I know there's a lot of stuff on the YouTube, but uh, I don't really get any royalties from that. Right. So I appreciate, like, if you guys do it the legal right. way and then just buy the, the actual That's right. DVD. That's right. But um, I understand that, you know, you, you, there's some good intro on on YouTube and there's a lot of material. I, I mean, I'm kind of over it, but hopefully next time we do another Mastering Pool, we, we just really... Um, Lock it down. Lock it down and protect it. And uh, and maybe we should be the ones posing on YouTube instead That's of like you some it. random guy. As, absolutely. Now they're Control actually your product, making, making money. Control your product. Yeah. Absolutely. And meanwhile, Vilmos uh, is doing exactly what you said. He's just taking over. He's Yeah, he's taking over. Yeah. We got a little pumped up. He's in full gear. He's going he's gonna to have the next break, so he has a chance to go up. Yeah. You know, he's 7-4 and chance to go up 8-4. Yeah. Town Tips. Town Tips, absolutely. That's now, Mika, I was going to ask you, how did you get involved with Town Tips? That's a good question. I, uh, these guys, actually, it's it's a finished product. Okay. Um, these guys were trying to, they were actually, you know, we were trying to, like, play around with an idea to make a, a, a plane tip. Okay. But they also had these, like, um, jump tips and break tips, which were, like, you know, two in one. Um, you know, I, I was doing some experimenting with the, the ones that they were trying to make for playing, but then it didn't really work out. But then I was like, let's try the let's try this break and jump. And I'm right. like, I was really amazed how, how good it was and how much more power I got. Okay. Look at this break, I by know, the way. I That's say, insane. You know, I just, he hit that ball he, square. He, he's hitting it so he's square, solid. and then the balls are just landing like... Yeah. Like bugs. This is what we call Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. And Mika's, Mika's picked up his pace. I mean, <laughs> Mika, sorry. Vilmos. Vilmos. He picked up his pace, brother. Yeah, he is. He's well, like, you know, okay. his confidence is, like, high now, and he's, like, yeah. in full gear. Um yeah. Anyway, back to the town. So I was trying the product, and I was like, "Wow, this is like really feel like I get more power on the break." And then I was trying like some full cue uh, jump shots. I mean, right. I was trying the, the short jumps with the yeah. shorter cue. It was like great, but I tried even with the full cue, and it seemed like I was really able to get a lot of uh, you know a lot of air easily right. with like less effort than the regular tips. So. Wow, that's strong. And. Uh, so now we're in our, like, you know, uh, what, what happened here? No, he's good. No, he's good. So, we, yeah, we have our second generation town tip out, and it's really amazing. We've got a lot of great feedback. Absolutely. We had some problem with the first edition, you know. Some people had uh, some breakage. And right. We improved the product, and it's like 200%. Yeah. I over 200% uh, stronger I hear, than the original. I hear pro people talking about version 2, and just like that... Vilmos Foldis is on the hill. He is on the hill. Like Vilmos just won seven racks in a row. Tips. Yes, he did. And in short order, too. Yeah. He just gets up there, and he's pumping those balls in. He's playing, you know? Wow. Well, Nathan, we look forward to you and Mika getting together and bringing this master and pool out, or whatever else you're going to put into the pool world. We'd love to see uh, yeah. some new products out there, especially with the production value of your product. Very high. I like that. I like quality. Thank you again, Bloodhound, for your uh, compliments and feedback. Yeah. 
It's oh. gonna happen. It's gonna happen before 2019. There you go. When you're coming out with another Mez model, baby. Oh, my next Mez model. Uh huh. Coming MI4. Out soon. Oh, baby. But MI4, but it's yeah. gonna be very. It's gonna be very. Uh, it's a very high-end queue, and it might be like a limited edition. How smart. And so I don't know. That's good. It's gonna run. Uh, it's gonna cost a pretty it's penny. Gonna right. run a chunk of money. Absolutely. Well, you know. But it's gonna. It's kind of like commemorating my in the Hall of Fame and it's like yeah, you know, our, our our long my long relationship with Mez. That's it's, right. They're doing it. It's kind of like a you know a, a jubilee, like Good. a little bit like a Good. commemorative uh, series. Yeah. Probably a dozen of them gonna be made. That's right. But we'll see. That's right. Good. If you get to where you need to be, you the wheels, need to be, uh, the wheels are falling off. Yeah, Larry. Yeah, yeah. he just miscued. Yeah, the Okay, Phil Prentice, my man. Okay, big Phil. Yeah, I know that. You know, and uh, Mika just look. Close the door, Mister Bill Most for this. Yeah, Larry Bond was giving him a lot of trouble in the beginning, but now yeah. he's yeah, uh, yeah. Let's see if uh, Vilmos can close the door. Yeah, he's, he's got a, a little tester here. And cheeks to pocket. Okay. Gonna get there. What? All the five and uh, eight is gonna be tough for Larry. He, he, well, you know, that was the first mistake from Vilmos in, in uh, about eight racks. So. He was probably looking to like close it out clean, but now uh, Larry's got another chance Yeah. To see if he can capitalize on this, but he's still, he's still got a lot of work to do. Yes, he does. Even and, this uh, rack. Yeah, this is, this is tough right here. I think I might actually draw and try to hit that cluster. Maybe oh, get between right there. No. A lot of good things can happen, and then at least you're going to be close to the ball, and you can make things. See, yeah. he opened it up, but yeah. he opened it for Vilmos. Yeah, and you know, when you do that, you just do that for the other player and you just open up. That makes it a tough, you know. And right now, you know, that puts Vilmos in the driver's seat. And Larry, well, it's pretty much game over here. Yeah. He Perfect angle. Game. He needs one game. Just a little stun. A little tap. And it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. I like the way you rhyme it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. And he he concedes that 